England are European champions. European champions. I mean, is there anything else to say? This is Linus's Live, connected by EE. <laughs> Yes, welcome to a very special Lionesses Live on the morning after the historic night before. As you can hear, my voice is a bit crusty. I've been shouting and celebrating. I'm Joel Lenovo. And I'm Josh Denzel. How are you all doing? Has it sunk in yet? Does it feel real? I, no, it does not feel real, Josh. All right. It's, it was an amazing game. What a tournament, what a team. We are here this morning outside the team hotel and we will be talking to none other than the gaffer herself, Serena Vigman, and the skipper, Leah Williamson. So make sure you stay tuned for that. That's right, and as always, and for the last time, we want to hear from you. Send us your congratulations for the Lionesses in the comments, on YouTube, or on Twitter, using the hashtag Lionesses Live. Yes, you already know how it goes. The best comments will feature in the show, so make sure you get them in now. And right, guys, the team will soon be leaving the hotel for the last time, making their way to Trafalgar Square to continue the celebration. So we're just minutes away from speaking to Serena and Lip. Oh, my gosh. But before we do, first thing I've got to say is that yesterday was in incredible we were there mm -hmm. josh we were there at wembley how are you feeling now josh has it sunk in do you know what it was incredible it felt like we were witnessing history the players were so calm i'm not sure everyone in the stadium was as calm but we were so <laughs> close last year with the business and we, we had that heartbreak and then to do it and yeah. do it the right way against germany in front of 87 i, I told you i had visions of that final right England v Germany. Goal scorers walking around. What are they around? <laughs> hey, I'm talking it's Chloe about. Kelly! <laughs> <laughs> There's actually a crowd here at the at the team base hotel, and that's where all the applause is coming from. By the way, you know people are really it's excited. Support. This it's, is good stuff. It's 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 a movement. It's yeah. a movement. Now, right before we speak to the legendary Serena and Leah, we want to we want to share. The message of support that we've got so far, Joe, and yes. kick us off. Can I start the show in a good way? Let's do that, right? I'm going to tell you what Jacqueline said, okay. right? Jacqueline says, history makers, record breakers, game changers, mm -hmm. 2022, year of the lionesses. That sounds like a speech just That sounds like some of Jill Scott's bars. A hundred percent. I think it might just be, actually. We might have to reload those bars, actually. <laughs> you know what? Emiko says, so proud bringing football back home, representing and paving the way for future aspiring female footballers. Amazing. Oh, I love that, man. This is so beautiful. All right, so Deborah says, congratulations. The team, the, sorry, the win means so much to me. Growing up in an era where you were constantly told girls don't play football or you can't do that, you're a girl. Well, turns out you can. Turns out you <laughs> <News> can. flash. <laughs> now, I'm hearing Serena and Leah are almost here. So before that, just to warm you up, in case it's a little bit hazy, here is a little recap of the magical night last night. What is happening? You look better than me. We are weird. No, with the sunglasses. Weird and I love that you have it on. I'm are you coming over to Chico and chill with us over here? Get on chill with us over here. All right, fine. Well, Listen, we're here outside the Lensbury. We're waiting on Serena. I think they've been they caught up. They're trying to find the medals. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, if you look yeah, over yeah. here, this is this Take is what's look. going on here. This is the kind of mood 
that we're in camp. <laughs> they Sometimes. <are> chilling. <laughs> <laughs> I think. Do they look? Let us know. Do they look ready for the parade? For me, it's the glasses. It's the glasses for me that says, you know, superstar. European <laughs> champions, that's what it is. As if the sun was shining. Sun shining <laughs> what you can't see is it's super bright, okay? Sun's out. Everyone's had 12 hours of sleep. Yeah. 12. They got their beds on. 12 minutes. It's good vibes. You was giving it's good vibes last night to her. You was What's dancing. She was booing. What, me? <laughs> <laughs> Go, give us your best moment from the tournament, not including yesterday. Jess Carter this morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jess Carter. <laughs> What's she saying this morning? Oh, Jess yeah, Carter yeah, yeah. arguing with everyone pieces. about the fact that she's won the past of <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> I like it. Now, you know what? Guys, I think we've got one part of our dynamic duo today here online. This is like, Leah's in the building. Can we get a round of applause for Leah? <laughs> A cake cutting. That was a highlight of my tournament. What the cake? Watching Leah and Serena cut the cake. It was like getting married. Cut their wedding cake. A moment, a real moment. How are you feeling today, Leah? A little bit rough, but all right. Yeah. I love that you got the lioness's live bucket hat on. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I told you I wanted one of these. <laughs> yeah. I got five out of five, didn't I? Fifty yeah, points. That's so. right. That's right. Part of, a, part of, a, part of a special it. club. Yeah. Now talk to me about yesterday. All right. Yeah. I want to start off with the celebrations. Give me an MVP of the celebrations yesterday. Who was dancing? I heard there were some speeches going on. Yes. Talk me through it. I mean, on the pitch, got to be Chloe, right? Taking her shirt off. Yeah, true, true. Just giving, just giving it big and... Um, <laughs> Rachel gave a, a performance last night. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she actually got on a mic, sung. That was good. Um, Kira, she's walking off because she knows I'm about to drop her in it. I'm about to say, that's the, that's the smartest the Walsh person family, at the, the Walsh family right last night was... Yeah, no, I love the Walsh family. Yeah. 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 I met Mummy Walsh yeah. today as well. She's a groover. Yeah. She's, she's a groover, I respect that. Yeah, she you know really what? is. She really is. Your parents. Uh, <laughs> I saw a little two-step. I like it. A bit of rhythm. That's what we like. Yeah, that's what we need. That's important. Now I know you were raised in a good way, you know, from seeing that. <laughs> the right way. <laughs> so how are you feeling this morning, the morning after a historic, historic win? It's weird. I don't know when it'll ever sink in. Like, mm. it's just incredible, isn't it? You look at the trophy, remember. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know when we'll all realise what we've just done. There was, you know, an outpouring of emotion last night. I mean, talk me through. We've got some pictures, but talk me through, like, what was going through your head during the final whistle? Do you know what? I actually thought... I lost it and I thought that we was only playing 115 minutes. I forgot it was 120 of extra time. So I was screaming at the ref and let her blow her whistle. She must have been thinking, hang on a minute, what's going on here? Alex was like, Leah, calm down. I was like, oh, what's going on? We play five extra minutes here. I, was, I lost it. So then when the whistle actually come, the girls made it easy. They kept it in the corner for what? Literally, I think there was 10 minutes of football played in a 10-yard yeah. square box in that yeah. top right-hand corner. They did good. They it did was the good. European way. I so like it. We brought the European way in. It was like people falling over. <laughs> like you don't know exactly <laughs> what happened. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, what was going through your head at that time other than, oh, we're playing five extra minutes? Oh, I was getting emotional. I thought, just keep the ball away from me. I don't want to be involved. Yeah. You're, you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. I'm just keep going. Back, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I love that. And also, we're talking about the celebration as well you know yesterday yeah. Serena was doing the the press conference and you lot stormed in <laughs> yeah. you know singing it's coming home Mary Merck's and Lucy even got on the table <laughs> fully on the well. table I'm not sure the media knew what was going on uh, honestly Serena I was, didn't know what was yeah. going on <laughs> whose idea was that Jill Jill yeah nice. Shock. Of course. yeah rounded up the troops she's like come on so yeah we all we follow whatever she says we follow didn't we so yeah yeah no it was sensational scenes and it's gone absolutely viral as well now Talk to me about the goal. Because Kira says it was all about the assist. Okay, and I'm not sure we can we, we can bring that. But what was the thought when that ball went through? And I just thought this is too good. That ball was too good, and the run was too perfect. I thought this got to be offside. Yeah. You know, I, I was yeah, yeah. too scared to celebrate. Yeah. The finish took forever to go. Honestly, in. it like, was it above forever. the bar for about yeah. half hour. Yeah. <laughs> I was just stood like, and then when we scored, I didn't even celebrate because I thought that can't be real. That. That cannot be real. <laughs> yeah, so it was unbelievable. And then Chloe's one, I didn't even see he scored. I it was just, just saw a toe. I just saw a toe. 
He went in, I turned around, screamed, and that was it. Was it was like three yeah. bites at the cherry. It yeah. was unbelievable. Oh, man. I She's got them long legs, to be fair, so I knew they'd come in handy one day. Oh, and also, you know, you're the captain, Leah, you know. Can you... It's quite a difficult question. I don't know if you can put it into words, but you've led this team to such an historic win. Can you put that into words about what that feels like? Yeah, I don't know. It's... it's um. I don't really feel like I did. I don't really feel like I did anything other than what I've always done. Mm. I don't know. I'm not one for... I don't know. Gash I don't, yourself makes, up. No, Listen, no. I let just, the people I think know. It's, it's, yeah, I don't know. I think right. it's like the team... being yeah. Just being English on that football pitch yesterday was yeah. always going to be enough for me. Yeah. So, yeah. What do the team say to you about you being a captain? Not much, you know. <laughs> not much. Sometimes they... Um, yeah, I don't know. I get a little. I get banter basically. I don't get no respect. So. <laughs> hey, well now is the time to change that. Clearly, that's, really, that's what worked, though, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's, it's, it it seems if it ain't broke, hello. don't fix it. Good morning. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Serena. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Oh, it's so good. Welcome to Lioness's <laughs> Life. Thank you. We're very honoured to have you on the show. It's nice to be here. <laughs> we had a nice journey, didn't we? We did. It's not, not been bad. bad. It's no, not been bad. Average. average, yeah. It's just a little something, something. <laughs> just a now, European championship. Yeah. I've just asked Leah this, but what were your thoughts at the final whistle? Do you, I mean, you've been here and you, you've done it, you've been in football for so long. What was your feeling like at that moment in time when the whistle went and you're like, we are European champions? My feeling was we did it. Incredible, unbelievable. I still have that a little bit, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and um, let's just take it back just a little bit as well. So Chloe scored that goal, you know, nine minutes from time. When she scored that goal, were you thinking, we've won the tournament? No. No? No. Nine minutes? I mean, a lot could happen in nine minutes, exactly. really. Uh, yeah. No, I thought, now uh, keep it. And you could tell the players thought the same because we went to the corner flag and we didn't get out of there anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I yeah. just didn't watch. That yeah. Was great. Yeah, and we made one substitute that take a, took a little more time too, and um, yeah. So. You know, what I always find incredible is the calmness in this team. You know, it, you're talking about in that Spain game, you knew that you had, you had no fear that you were going to lose that game, and it, that translates also to your mannerisms in in. Or when you're sat on the bench, you don't even... There's sometimes, you know, 10 minutes to go in, in the European final, you're chilled, you're relaxed. You know, the technical area is empty. And you can... You, I feel like you have a lot of trust in the girls mm. to kind of go out there and, and kind of implement the systems that you put in place. Yeah, absolutely. Of course I trust them. They've done so well. Uh, from September until the tournament, um, we built trust. Um, we all knew that there was so much quality in this team already. And... Uh, we just prepared really well. So, and, and you know, when you're standing uh, in in your coaching area with 90,000 people, it takes forever to 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 get contact with <laughs> no, them. I'm so, the yeah, yeah. no. So, and I'm st I tried. So you can hear on my voice, but um, th they have to do it themselves. And we all, you know, we have trained, we, we have we have experienced things. We talk about things, so the players know what to do. I mean, it's it's definitely it definitely seems that way. Now. How were the celebrations yesterday? Talk with you. I've asked Leah, she's given us a little bit of an insight. Uh, yeah. How were they? We want to know from the gaffer. Um, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> lots of music, lots of dancing. English people can drink. <laughs> <laughs> so a um, little bit too much alcohol, I think. But that's okay. That's okay. We enjoyed it, it. and it was done. And um, when you when you uh, when you have this accomplishment, you know, it's really good to have I mean, a party. It? it doesn't it doesn't happen every day. It doesn't exactly. happen no. every single and, year. And we yeah. talk about celebrations as well, right? I did see in your post match press conference, the girls stormed in. <laughs> yeah. Max was on the table. We was just talking to Leah about this. What were you thinking in your head as they were coming in? I thought uh, they're enjoying themselves, <laughs> <laughs> and that's all right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I well, yeah. I thought she was going to fall off at one point. I, well, I <laughs> thought this, this, ta this table couldn't It wasn't a stay. table, it was a plank of wood. Yeah. It was a plank of yeah. wood. Exactly, it was a little dangerous, but she's still here. But she made it. Every, yeah. Everyone she seems to be in, in at least one piece, just about. Exactly. Now, what makes this group so special? I'm going to come to you and I'm going to come to you about this. Because it, it, it feels like there's a real family vibe. Everyone's in the same boat yeah. together. Yeah, yeah. It has been special from the moment I went in. Um, so I don't know how it was before, but first of all, there's so much quality and 
I've said that a couple of times, to so much willingness to improve every day. Like the training sessions, we just have to say, calm down a little bit. We don't have to do everything 100 miles an hour every minute of the training. It's the same as managing the game. Sometimes you want to speed up, sometimes you have to uh, slow down a little bit. But also off pitch, we, we, had some, we did things off pitch too. And, how the, the, the players got together, how the communication went, how we got to know each other even better, it's because lots of players know each other already, but you need to get a little more, more really get to know each other. Um, and I just really enjoyed it, and I said, well, one does, sometimes they say, when does the shit come? <laughs> <laughs> but it never came. It never came. It never, it never, it never came, came. We're still exactly. waiting for it. Yeah. Incredible. Um, you have a few royal fans. Okay, first of all, uh, there's been many congratulations. Uh, what did Prince William say to you during the trophy lift? Ex explain this to me. I think I went to shake his hand and he said, Leah, bring it in. And I <laughs> oh, yeah. said, thank you, sir. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, yeah, he that. was like, I'm very proud of you all, so. Absolutely incredible. Now, not only Prince William, but the Queen has issued a statement. Have you heard the, say the statement? I'm going to read it out for you anyway. Yes, read that. The Queen <laughs> sent a message to the squad and she said, your success goes far beyond the trophy you have so deservedly earned. You have all set an example that will be an inspirational for girls and women today and for future generations. How special is that to hear? Uh, I'm, a big, I'm a big fan of the royal family, so that means a lot. Laughing, we'll get... are we laughing, girls? We all know, we all know, do we? Yeah. <laughs> Keep we'll <get> up. <laughs> you behave yourselves over there. Um, so, yeah. so... <laughs> <laughs> I feel like there's an inside joke here that we need to be letting on. I don't get it either. <laughs> no, don't worry. There is no joke, about it's just it. the truth, but they all love me for it. <laughs> And Serena, there's no doubt that this has been a game-changing tournament. You know, you've even said yourself, we've changed society. What does that mean to you? Yeah, well, um, I, I think when you, when you go to this tournament, like, we're so visible. And all these players are such big examples and inspiration for young kids. Uh, and I think that will make the change. But not only for young kids, I think when we go out there, so many people say we're so proud of you. And that will make change. Yeah. And um, uh, football already has changed, but we need some more changes. And hopefully this goes a little faster now. Yeah, I think it will. I really do. Even just through this experience, I've heard of so many people who weren't really interested, who even want to play now. Like, you know, I like to talk about football. I'm terrible at playing it. But I'm like, you know what, actually? <laughs> I'll give, give it a go. go. I'm going to give it a go. Right yeah, 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 like, and it's inspired, like, my nieces, my, my sister, who is now fully into it, you know, and my brothers as well. It's just... Everyone can yeah. feel it. Everyone can feel that energy. Everyone's got what the you fever. Guys yeah, a hundred percent. It's great. Fever. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, there was a Euros tournament record attendance yesterday. You know, eighty-seven thousand and change, and millions watching at home. Is there anything that you want to say to all those England fans that came out and supported and watched you guys yesterday? So no many pressure. things there. No. Well, think. yeah, you, you go you go after me because you can, you have so much nice words all the time. <laughs> no, I just want to say thank you. It has been incredible. And the support of the fans in the stadium, but we also felt it outside the stadium. And with the, with the people that are watching, we know that there's so many people watching on TV too. And it has been the 12th woman or man for us. And as we said, we want to be an inspiration for the nation. And, um, but... Those people, our fans, are inspiration to us too and has been so incredible. So thank you very much, everyone. You, you skipped this part. <laughs> Just, that was everything I was yeah. going to say, so yeah, good. All right, and finally, before we let you both go, every time after a match on this show, we ask the viewers three words to describe the match. So I'm going to ask the both of you. I don't know who... Maybe you can go first, right. Leah. Um, nervy. Exciting and victorious. I love oh. that. Oh. That was a sensational oh. free by the pulled it out the back. <laughs> I might get that written again. Have a go. <laughs> I say physical. Hard to play football, that's one word then. <laughs> <laughs> and um, breaking barriers. Yeah. Incredible. I like that. Incredible. That's two words to go back to. You know what? You've used about 15, it's but it took, it took a lot of words to describe yeah. a historic night yeah. like yesterday. And, um, you know, I know I said I'm going to let you go in a minute, but I do want to ask as well, what's your favourite part of the tournament? 
My favourite part of every single game is coming out for the warm up and the noise and just, I don't know, just feeling so at home and. I don't know. It, that to me was like every yeah. time I thought this is where we are, like yeah. proper reminded me, you know. So nice. I love that. What about you, Serena? Other than um, yesterday, yeah, I have many. I have many. You can't just say one one favorite moment. I think uh, when we went into uh, Old Trafford, that was yeah, really incredible too. When we went off, uh, we went on the pitch to start the game to have the anthems. Uh, the moments that we beat Spain, that was a big one too for me. Yeah, yeah. And of course, yesterday when we won and, and the, the crowd. Um, really, really inspirational for me. I like it. Serena nice. makes her own rules. Pick one moment, four or five <laughs> yeah. moments. I no, no <laughs> any amount of words yeah. to describe How the game. How can you describe this tournament in one moment? It's I impossible. Know. Yes, of course, of course. Yeah. Now, thank you so much for joining You're us. Welcome. We're gonna we're gonna let you get on the bus. We're also gonna go and probably grab some other players as well. Now, Serena, I can't let you leave. Without I mean, you need one the lionesses' oh, live yes, that's bucket right. hat because you might have seen them around the trading camp. Yeah, yeah. I have seen it. Of Liz, our fantastic model. Right. Right. Okay, well here we go. I'm not sure if it fits me, but well, oh, it's oh, perfect. Yeah. Like it's that. perfect. It fits you. That's right. Good. We like that. <laughs> thank you so well, thank much. Thank you so thank much. Appreciate thank it. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. Yes. I'll see you in Trafalgar Square. You can drop yeah. those down there. No stress. Thank you very much. Thank Mike you. Drop. Let them know. Oh. What a moment. You, hey, troublemaker. Maps. What? Troublemaker, get it right now. <laughs> I, I need a water. Who's got water? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know what? Too much singing, Millie, yeah, too yeah. much <laughs> celebrating. It's got the mouth get, a bit dry get sometimes, two minutes. you know. Come on, Millie. There we go. You trying to escape from us? Impossible. Impossible. <laughs> never, 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 take, never. take the mic. Uh, What's happening? How I'm are gonna... you both feeling now, the morning after such an historic win? What's going through your minds? What's happening? I feel, I feel pretty great. Party. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just want the train to keep moving at this slept? point. No. Uh, about an hour, I think. Yeah, no. I had yeah. Jill in my room last night, so we didn't sleep at all. Yeah, I... I, 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 I... <laughs> no one wants to sleep like, that. <laughs> so Chloe taking a <laughs> Ah, uh, that's only after a really good goal. <laughs> she's like that all the time. Who? Chloe Kelly. Chloe. Yeah. Well, Sorry. She's always no. backing off. <laughs> Are you always backing Shall off the top, Is that a thing that you do? <laughs> there was... She does a bit... Oh, That was a quick cameo. I know, um, I thought she was going to come and chat to us. Explain to me, you stood on the table. Yeah. Your foot was coming home. <laughs> Explain, uh, yeah. explain the moment for me. Talk about what was going through your head. I saw my moment. I saw the opportunity. I took it. I felt like it was it was the perfect moment to get on a table. If you can't get on a table after you're the European champion, when can you get what on a table? What can you do then? I don't get it. Do you know what I mean? I didn't see anything wrong with that. I thought, I neither did I. I thought that was amazing. I thought it was normal. Yeah, yeah. I think Serena enjoyed it. She loved it. She was she was giving me a little woo. <laughs> she was there. Listen, every day after a match, we ask the viewers to describe the match in three words. What we got? So what are your three, I want to know what your three word descriptions are. Madness. Hearty. That's a pure hearty yeah. performance that, like, right. and then for the badge. after that was yeah. mad. Did yeah. the tears with the tears. Oh, I was, yeah. I was roaring. Was bawling, yeah, 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 yeah. We were literally bawling, but it's because we've had so many, for us, we've reached the semis and, you know, we see that as we're failing. So to finally do it and overcome all the critics and everything that comes with it, We've won. Yeah. Like, you've done everything, all the hard work, and yeah, it's unbelievable. I feel like you two have an incredible relationship on and off the field. Yeah. But it, it, it seems Daughter like. Daughter from Dunning, now we're here. <laughs> Daughter from Dunning, now the whole team. Yeah. Hey. Hey. We've had so much rapping on this show, I yeah. love it. I love it. You didn't really join in with that, mode, but it's cool. Don't worry. Sorry, sorry. You I'm, trying, I'm trying not to peek too soon. <laughs> It's a fact. I'm yeah. peaking at 8 a.m. whatever time. <laughs> There's a lot more to do. You got, you, you got to get to your house. Listen, we won't, we won't keep you for too long. All I know right. you want to go enjoy. Sweet. Have a great time. Thanks, Congratulations. Guys. Thanks. Thanks. Season so of it. Much. We love you all. We love you more. <laughs> uh, enjoy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> See, it's celebration season right now. It's celebration season. I don't know if I want to dance on a table or cry right now, to be honest. I it's might just special. do both at the same time. Do you know what? While. Wilder players are here. I want to. I want to read through some 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 moments of support. Let's do that. Um, 
Here we go. First, keep sending them in, guys, using the hashtag Lioness is live, and we'll get them through. The players are about to get on the bus and depart for Trafalgar Square. So if you are in the city, head down to Trafalgar Square. It's going to be incredible. It's not every day you get to see a moment like this. <laughs> Listen to that. Do you know what, Josh? We're asking the players what their favourite moment of the tournament Go is, on. but what is your favourite moment other than yesterday? Do you know what? I went up to Brighton oh, nice. for the 8-0. Nice. Right? And I can't lie to you, on the way I was thinking, this might be our toughest test in the group. Yeah, yeah. But really and truly, eight goals later, I was living my best life. And Every goal in the celebration got bigger and bigger. The atmosphere was incredible. The sun was shining down in England. I thought, that was the moment I thought, do you know what? Mm. It really might be happening. It might be coming. Hey, hey you know we don't say that here. We're not allowed to say it. I know. Right, no, right. You know what? I was asking you. I'm taking it. But we I'm all we know. That the was vibes. the moment where I really thought something special could happen. And you know, I saw the players celebrate. Sweet Caroline was there. Yeah. It was getting played. All the play I remember, I remember seeing uh, Billy Bright looking up into the crowd at the family and friends section. And I thought, do you know what? This is so special. What a team, what a moment. Yeah. To be a part of it, to be in Camp Joyner, you've been here the whole time and you understand how much it means to these girls and how much it means I to do. the country. So. Do you know what, for me, what I loved seeing is after every win, them actually taking it in, yeah. embracing it, feeling that atmosphere. I felt the energy, you know? I, I only went to yesterday's match. That what was a game the only to go to, by the way? If, if you're going to go, what a game to go to. I mean, hey, you know, I was here doing Lionesses Live every day. Exactly. And that, I must say, has been the super highlight for me to have this access to these amazing players and talk to them on such a level is just so inspirational for me. I can imagine how inspirational it is for, for the people watching as well. Talk to me, what's, what's been your favourite moment of Lioness's Live? Lioness's oh, Live. Oh, that's of easy. Lioness's Live. That's actually on, easy. Hit me. It's actually when Bethany England <laughs> did the Lioness's Live 5 game in nine seconds. Nine Honestly, seconds. I mean, if you watch the show, then you know how mad I get. How, <laughs> the how into it was going on. I get when they're doing up the, the game, the bucket ball. So um, to see Hempo get 15 seconds, I was gassed off of that. And then, and then you think to go and beat that and, is special. And did nine seconds. So yeah, I, I get hyped every single time we do that. Actually, my biggest regret is that I didn't do my own uh, Lioness's Live 5 challenge. I've seen, I've, seen, I've seen a couple of your practice goes. <laughs> I don't think the viewers need to see that. The show, oh, yeah? can, only, the show can only be so long. The show can only wow, be so Josh. long. Lioness, Lioness is live episode. five would have been Lioness is live Disrespectful. in 25 minutes. I want to see you do it, mate. That's why I don't do it, <laughs> honestly. See, it's, it's been incredible watching Lioness is live mm. the whole time. You know, the way that you brought the, kind of the personality of the players that allowed them to be themselves. So it's been incredible to watch them and be a part of. And what a tournament, by the way. What a tournament to do. A tournament where you go and do the damn thing. You go and win the whole thing. Do you know, I'm also getting visions of Alessia's back heel kick, oh. not making two Highlight players the into sure. the goal. I mean... And do you know, we've got to shout out Beth Mead as well. You got to shout what a tour. She's on fire. She's had. We, we call it the Beth Mead Revenge Tour, don't we? The Beth Mead Revenge Tour. And, you know, representing... The free lines and Arsenal as well. So you know I'm a North London boy. You know you don't have to respect it. Player of the tournament. You know what I mean Golden Boot. Yeah. Do you know what I'm else very I liked own. as well? I liked when Jill Scott tried to steal my job. She tried to steal your job a couple of times. Yeah. She also started to start a rapping career. Yes. On our very first departure we show. We were basically the same person because I'm, you know, I'm an ex-rapper. <laughs> See, this is it. Do you the know who the time else I really and who I just love so much? Go on. Merps. Merps is great. Got the energy she brings Max. to the table. The en literally, the energy she brought to the table at that press conference <laughs> yesterday, but also all those saves. Incredible. And you know what I like about her? She knows, she knows, hey, can I kill a bit of time here? Can I do this exactly. here? Exactly. <laughs> it's the lay down. It's the, it's the lay down. Look at the camera and win. We, we appreciate it. You can almost name the entire squad. I mean, you could name it's the entire true. squad. They each have a special place in my heart. I love all of them. And I don't love people that easy, but do you know what? I, I'm going to say it. It's unrequited love. But actually, you know. Of course. Love. They love me back. Right, we, we promised to bring you comments. We promised to bring you comments. So let's roll down here. Now, here we go. If I can find them, that would well, be a good I'll start. I'll kick it off. It's all the way at the bottom. Andrew Walker says, football's come home. Well done, oh. Lionesses. Super proud of you. Incredible. The bus is making its way to Trafalgar Square. 
It's going to be 2022 World well, European Champions aboard. What an incredible thing. You can see there the fans that have come Amazing. out just to watch this moment. I think that might be nearly all we've got time for. That is. It's an emotional end. I reckon we should just finish off these support messages. You let us know. Joella, chill. Yeah. It's your show. And then after, we've got to say bye. Do you know what it is? I'm just, I'm just trying to stay as long as possible because I'm going to miss this. So it's me, Naraya has said, amazing girls, you've made history. I was screaming so much and I can't wait to soon play on a pro pitch or to start trialling for academies. You've inspired me so much. Thank you. And this is exactly what we've been What's the next about. one? Tell us. Tell us. I want to <laughs> hear all the comments. We said use the hashtag Lioness is live and you've been using it. So come on, the we'll show you The next one like. is JMFE95. You've done a great job, guys. I've loved watching the show when I've managed to catch it. Well, listen, you can watch back, love. Yeah? It's on the tube. Incredible. So make sure. But listen, Josh, I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me. It's been an absolute pleasure being able to host this with you. Um, and of course, shout out to Abby, Els, Amelia, who have also made this such an amazing journey. Um, and thank you, who's Incredible. watching. Thank you for all your comments. Thank you for enjoying this as much as we enjoy it. Thank you for your support. I've had such an amazing time. It's been an opportunity of a lifetime. I really feel like I might start crying. Quick fact before we go, I did turn around to see Joella bawling her eyes out uh, after the final whistle. Yeah, I did. Do you know what it was? It was the moment where Alessia went over to her brothers and I just know what my siblings mean to me. So just thinking about that, from my perspective, I just I just know how much that would have meant to her. And that's that's what actually got the waterworks going. So again, thank you so much for watching and we're gonna leave you with some of the best bits. Enjoy. <laughs> this is Lionesses Live, connected by EE. -E. Full title. Oh hi you, mate. The fact that it's a home tournament is going to be so exciting and hopefully we can help move women's football to that next level. Hopefully one day we look back and won't just have been playing football, you know, we'll have done something bigger. You just can't describe the feeling that came with last night's game, the first game, a win in front of a home crowd. You look across, you look across the estate That's right. oh my goodness. and they're absolutely everywhere. You kind of realise like, wow, this is, mm. this is a big moment. I think just for women's football in general. Put your hand on top of the ball like that. Oh. Oh. Eight goals, clean sheet, three points, mental. There's an appetite for it, so we can't be taking steps back. It's always about moving the game forward. She's on fire. Oh my gosh. Last summer we were supporting the men and now this summer to be living it here is it's amazing. To be fair, we're normally shouting at her telling her not to shoot. <laughs> she should pass more, but <laughs> nah, we'll let her off for yesterday, I think. <laughs> oh, a young girl! A young Toonie and Russo. We have got a signed lioness shirt that we would love to send to you. Thank you! <laughs> You're very welcome. Work on those bars, get yourself on that coach and do us all so proud tomorrow. Thanks so much to you guys. It's been a fantastic show and yeah, thanks for all the memories.